Today, everybody, is day two of Niagara Falls Comic Con, and we are here over at the Top Pops booth, of course. Just checking it. Well, I mean, it's my booth. You guys, I'm here all day. Also, a bit of an update, everybody, on what we have going on on the booth. This is the back wall over here, and there's... CJ? And you know what, why don't we come over to this side anyways, because I don't think I've shown it off in other videos. This is where we have the larger characters, as well as a bunch of three liter sodas. Practically everyone in. Also, it looks like somebody's got a free spin over there. All right guys, here we go, let's see what he gets. What do we got? Hey, free mystery, free mystery bag. bag. Can't complain. Uh, and crazy enough guys, we're getting kind of low. I'm gonna go Ooh. Dragon Ball Z. Look at that. And there's your prize number three. Sorry guys, he also won a prize. Yeah. It's crazy over here. Now I've got a little bit of a story for you guys. Earlier in the day, my friend Chad came to the booth and he was actually looking for, is your name uh, Lorraine? Am I ruining my story right now? I'm breaking it right now. But anyways, Lorraine from Back to the Future. I had an extra one, so I gifted it to him because we, we gift things back and forth. Anyways, whatever, we've been trading back and forth. And he got the first ever one signed here at Comic-Con. Isn't that crazy? I mean, come on guys, take a look at that. There it is. And apparently she didn't even know it was real. Yeah, she had to ask me. Oh, no idea. That's crazy. Okay, guys, so I just got some celebrities that showed up at the booth here, and I'm kind of nervous if I'm gonna be honest. Check it out, guys. We have Wolverine and, whoa, Deadpool over here. I mean, come on, this is it's pretty scary, guys. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> now, if you guys are wondering, this is what the soda section is looking like, and it looks like we also have somebody organizing them. How perfect. Okay, everybody, it sounds like somebody just got prized 10 out of the mystery bag. That's huge. Okay. What? Congratulations. What? That's huge! I mean, come on guys, how crazy is that? All right, everybody, the booth is busy and we've got a lot of people opening up mystery bags over here and something pretty exciting. We have somebody that won a prize. Everybody, he won the Michelangelo, congrats. Okay, this is exciting, everybody. I brought my stamp just in case, but somebody brought an official Funko passport. We've got to stamp it. Check it out, everybody. We've got the passport here. I've got my stamp. Let's do the first one. This is actually really exciting. All right, everybody, I found a flat surface. I've got my stamp. Let's do this. I'm gonna go right there. There. Come on guys, that's pretty cool. All right, everybody, I'm just giving you a bit of an update here because the mystery bags, surprisingly, are almost gone for the day. We're not gonna be having any more of them. I think all we have left is like, what, uh, seven or eight? It's not many, really. And now since we're getting down to it, guys, we have Callum here to pick out one of the last bags. This one right here. Oh, okay, sounds good. All righty, let's see what you get. What do we have? Ooh, okay. Want a $10 pop? You got a coupon? So that could be anything over here on this table, like all the way down. All right. And who'd you get? Hey, hey, hey. Not bad, pretty good. Okay guys, this is exciting. Somebody brought something that I had to sign for them. Check this out. It's a custom Top Pops pop. Look at this, I'm holding a soda and a pop. I'm gonna be honest, I feel like I said pop too many times here. Also, I should probably give this back to them. <laughs> Thanks. Okay guys, I'm out of the booth for a second. Chad and I are going to see, apparently Chevy Chase is out here by the actual car from Lampoons. Oh yeah, there he is, let's go. Well everybody, it looks like we all had the exact same idea. There is a crowd of people over here. If you take a look everybody, there he is. We got a good shot of him. It's pretty cool to see him in front of their car. Come on, that's neat. Found a pretty cool section over here guys. Check these out, we've got like Scott Pilgrim, Mick Foley, and one that I am really enjoying, this glow-in-the-dark Carl. I mean, come on, look at how cool that is. I don't think I told you guys, but we are over here at the Darnan booth, and they have a lot of really cool figures. I just love taking a look, because you never know what you're gonna find over here, like a bunch of different Freddies up here, and some of the uh, covers, which are really cool, like the last Ronin one, I love this thing. Okay, we've come next door to the Top Shelf Collectibles booth, and I think Chad found something over here. Yeah, I found something really interesting. We got um, Rye the Pop Guy oh. over here. Yeah, um, pretty nice. Yeah, it's neat. It's kind of funny though. He got a pop before I did. And now taking a look in this section over here, I'm not normally one guy to pick up anime stuff, but there is one that I've been on the hunt for. Check this out over here, guys. It is the Awaken Gone. The box is like double the height of a regular one. I think, I think I'm gonna be getting this one. Okay, I got it on the shelf there, guys, and look at this. It's the regular box, but then it keeps going. I mean, come on, look at how crazy that is. And the best part is, it's 85, and I thought it was gonna be like 100 something, so yeah, I'm definitely getting this guy. And now coming over here to to the left. There are some interesting ones that I haven't seen in a while, like Dave Chilla down there. Do you guys see him there? One of the minions. And then above that, 
This is the first time I've ever seen the Shrek growling, the Hot Topic exclusive. I mean, come on, this is just too funny. Came over to this section here, guys, still at Top Shelf Collectibles, and I wanted to show you over on this side. Look at this, guys. They have the brand new Deadpool and Wolverine as a bundle. These are really cool to see. Uh, that's a little better, together. Okay, everybody, I got my Awaken going. I'm pretty excited about this one, but now we've come into this booth. It's like Funko Pops and Collectibles, buy any five items, get the sixth one free. If you've been watching my con videos for a while, you've probably seen this place, and it is, it's pretty massive. I like to take a look through every time. And at one of the main spots I always love to check, guys, is like the ad icons over here, as well as Disney stuff, if you keep going. And it looks like they've got some pretty old ones, like that Stitch down there, I do already have, though. But Shere Khan, King Louie, all some really great stuff, especially, actually, with these two here, now with the new set releasing. And now another one, guys, that I always love to show off, just because of how unique it is. They have Barf and Belch up here from How to Train Your Dragon 2. They literally have two heads in one box. Now, we came to the outside of the booth, and I wanted to show you this one here from Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Every time I see this thing, I always want to get it. It's the Black Knight with a mere flesh wound where both of his arms are missing. It's so cool, but I just don't know what it's worth, and 148, it might be a little high. I'm not sure. Okay, we came over to Fly By Night, and I wanted to show you a few random characters, like, um, well, uh, Asswang over here. And then coming over to this wall, guys, they have some really great stuff, and the nice thing is the prices are right there on the side, so it's super easy to see everything. Ooh, and I know my brother already has this one, but he is a big fan of Warhammer, actually, and Call of Duty. This is like his little section here. But seriously, though, everybody, some amazing stuff. Also, a bunch of One Piece, and then over here, check it out, guys, that crystal blue Heisenberg and Saul Goodman, you gotta love to see him. Oh, and now moving down over here, guys, check it out. We've got Dragon Ball as well as look at the amount of Pokemon Pops they have. And I think most of them are different. I mean, I see like a couple Sylveons and a couple Mewtwo's, but I mean, that's a pretty great variety. Now, you guys know how the other day I showed you guys that I was right next to mypops.ca? Well, now I am finally in their booth checking it out. And of course, they have a lot. As you guys can see me walking through here, it just keeps going. And now the first spot I wanna check here, guys, is the Star Wars shelf. And I am noticing down here. This is the first time I've ever seen the battle droid in person, and for 20 bucks, I mean, come on, I gotta get one. And now here's the thing. I know that this isn't the one with the yellow top on it. Maybe I'll find that eventually, but it looks like they might even only have one left, because it's Wicked behind. Yeah, we're getting him. Now over in this section, they've got a lot more of their expensive ones covered in mesh. Of course, because they are more expensive, I'm sure they'll get them from the backside for you. But I'm loving the amount of signatures they have here with the colors. I mean, look at that, guys. The pink on the front there, the blue. Actually, if I turn that sideways, is that a bit better? Can you see it? Anyways, I just I thought I would show you this because of the amount of amazing stuff they have in this one section alone. It's really cool to see. Now coming over into this section, Chad, I noticed that you were looking at something. I was. I found this Fun Days 2018 exclusive Stranger Things t-shirt. It's such a cool, what size is this? Because I'm kind of- This is a medium. No. Oh. Ooh. Uh. We're gonna have to pass, but it's still a cool shirt. Now turning around from the Stranger Things stuff, I noticed this section here where they have actually a lot of really cool things. Like Stinger, this is a neat one from the original Transformers set. Just like, it's a character you don't see often. And then also right above that, guys, check it out. From the Rock the Vote set, we have the Snoopy with the American flag. I know, a bit of a weird one. I believe this released actually, and I want to say 2016, and you guys know what happened that year. There was an election, Chad. Oh, okay. oh yeah, yeah. Just, just, you know, in case you guys didn't know. But anyways, getting back to this here, we also have I Matey, which is one that I do already have, and if they had more minions, I would love to pick them up. I just am um, not seeing any. Now here's another pop that I found, guys, that is really interesting. Thundar the Barbarian. Look at this thing. I honestly just thought it was a He-Man at first, and did not even realize, but take a look on the back, there's an entire set that I forgot about. Okay, I came over to the WWE section because I don't normally look at pops here, but I found this one and I guess he's in there? No, buddy, this is interesting, and I wanted to show you this because take a look, guys. We have the Eric Draven with Crow over here, Glow in the Dark and Hot Topic exclusive, but then check this out. We've got the Hot Topic Expo sticker where it also glows in the dark, and then the final one, which is the Walmart exclusive sticker. All three of these are the exact same pop. How odd. I figured I might as well show you because the Walmart one is technically an unreleased figure. Okay, everybody, now we have come over to Retro Festive where they have some really interesting stuff. Like, take a look at this, guys. Kool-Aid, Jenga, watches, strawberry shortcake, and over here, of course, they have Funko Pops. So it looks like there's a bit of a sale too. So maybe I'll pick something up, but for now, I'm just digging around to see what they've got. Oh, but now one that does stand out to me, check this out, everybody. That original black, well, not original, but it's the original pop in the black box, Boba Fett. I love this thing. Oh, now hold on, guys. Way up at the top there, check this out. They've got some Betty Boop bobbleheads, and I believe they may be wacky wobblers, and they're only 40 bucks. So I'm gonna do a little bit of research, and then I'll come back to you and think about it. Okay, I just checked everybody. They are made by Funko. They're larger wacky wobblers. They're 40 bucks. Yeah, we're getting one. Oh, ho, ho, Chad. Thanks for getting it. Look at 
at it, it's huge. Funko product, look at that. Oh, look at that, everybody, it is a Funko product. Uh, 1999? <laughs> Here, tip that up too, I just wanna sit the front again. Betty Boop, look at that. This thing is huge. Okay, everybody, we've come back to the booth. I've actually got my friend Nate holding the thing. I wanna keep it quiet because I'm gonna be surprising everybody here, see what they think. I went over to Retro Festive and I got something. Uh, Nate, do you wanna bring it in? Ho, 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 ho. Check it out. It is a Whoa. giant wacky wobbler. Wow. Look at this. Is it Funko? Look at it, yeah. Made oh, by Funko. Look at wow. this. Guess how much it was? $100. $700. What? 40 bucks. Oh, 40 bucks. Wow. Oh, that's really cool. Let's yeah. see it. Me and I. I want to see it. Sure. Oh my gosh. I actually really do love it. See, they isn't it cool? Ones? They had a black and white one of this. I don't know. Do you like the black and white one? Oh, we went for red. We figured. I figured it'd be pop. cool on the shelf, you know? I love oh. it. Oh. Good pun. Yeah, more, good pun, yeah. I actually love it. Yeah, it's cool, eh? I think everybody a pretty good choice. I mean, it was either this or a Mare McCheese head. It was a good one. Check it out everybody, I signed my first ever Funko Pop of Noah, and guess what? He's right here. <laughs> so drop the top pops. Hey, thanks. Hi, thank, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Hi. Hi. Hello everyone. Tomorrow's the anniversary of the Ghostbusters movie from 1984. If you guys can't tell, he's a big fan of Ghostbusters and the videos, thanks for being in it. Okay, I've got to say, guys, that was a really fun day at Comic-Con. And I may also sound like I've lost a bit of my voice because I've been talking the entire day. But I've got a lot of really cool stuff that I've picked up as well as was gifted from some of you guys that I want to go through. And I think we'll start with these here, the sodas that I was able to get because there's some pretty interesting stories with every single one of them. The first one here that I have is Woodstock. And what's really cool about this one is that a little while ago, somebody had reached out to me to say they wanted to trade my Linus because I had two chases for that one for this Woodstock here. I said I would have it over at Niagara Falls Comic Con and I saved it till then and now today I've got a brand new chase which is Woodstock, of course. I mean, come on everybody, take a look at that. Him and his little Beagle Scouts hat, it is just so amazing. Oh, and if you guys don't know, when I opened up my peanut sodas originally, I was able to get two Linus chases, so that's why we did this trade today. Then everybody, after that, I have this one here, which was a another trade and it is actually the Yellow Ranger soda. What's cool about this one here is that I did not have this Yellow Ranger chase. Oh, and I guess I am spoiling it a little bit, everybody. It is that Yellow Ranger chase. Take a look, how great is that? But anyways, what happened with this one here is that I got two normal Yellow Rangers and somebody who had watched my videos was like, hey, wait a second, I don't want the chase. And if you wanted an entire set when you buy a cooler, one of them is guaranteed to be blacklight, which is gonna look a little bit different in the set. So he was like, I would trade the chase Chase Yellow Ranger for the normal one. And so we now have another chase from this case in the collection. I believe this is now my third out of the six. So we're actually kind of close, like about halfway to completing this thing. And now these last two here were actually gifts. And it was so nice that they brought this one over. And if I'm gonna be honest, for all of these sodas here, I apologize, I didn't catch your name. What happens is everybody, we're at the booth, we're doing the trade, there's just so much going on. We say hi, then we're gone. But when it comes to these ones here it's some really interesting stuff because this first one here was Chernabog and he asked me do you have the Chernabog chase I said I wasn't sure about this one and he said okay well I'll keep it but then he came back later and was like you know what I brought it for you just take it and I checked I don't have this one in my collection so take a look at that everybody it is the metallic version of the figure such an amazing one to have in the collection I really do love this and I have that regular one but I was never able to get this so it's perfect and then this one over here, everybody, was a gift for my brother. These two actually came together from the same person. And what's so cool about this one is that he said, here's a Naruto, I think Noah would really like it. And then when I took it out, I realized that it was also the chase. And you totally did not have to do this. If you're the one that gifted me both of these sodas, seriously, too kind. And now if you're wondering what's chase about this one, it's the fact that it's completely yellow and it also glows in the dark. It is the six path Naruto and it's just such a fun one. And so seriously, everybody some amazing stuff going on here with sodas but now let's get into the pops now I feel like the best place to start is going to be with this one here the awaken gone and I feel like I took a look at this one a pretty good amount but just look at how random it is it's double the height of a regular character and I'm not gonna be talking about this one too much because I actually bought this for another video that I'm working on with like weird Funko pops and different like random things that they do every once in a while and taking a look at this one it is definitely that and also if you guys want to check out the back of the box. Here's some more stuff going on. It's just so weird how much room they have to work with. 
And now, everybody, let's get into the stuff that I got over at mypops.ca. And oh, actually, hold on. I gotta mention this was coming in from Top Shelf Collectibles. And anyways, taking a look at this one here, we have the Hot Topic exclusive Shrek Roaring. I'm just such a big fan of this one. And the reason I picked it up at the con is because I don't know if my Hot Topic's gonna be having this one later on. I haven't been able to go in a little while, so I figured let's just secure it for the collection because I really do want to complete this set. And if you guys are wondering, on the back of the box, we've got the Shrek, Fiona, Donkey, Puss in Boots, and Ginger. The only one that I have, though, is this exclusive here. Then, everybody, I got this one here. The Battle Droid for 20 bucks. I've been wanting this one since they announced it, and I'm so glad that I was able to find it. It's just one of those characters that I feel like I could have, like, 30 of this one and be excited about it. Just because, you know, in the movies, there are so many of this guy... It's a great one. I've also talked about this in the past, but I know that there is a yellow version, which should be some sort of like error or like weird exclusive that's gonna be coming later. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe it was even supposed to be a chase for this one. But either way, I am still on the hunt for that. So if anybody knows how to find one of those, please pop it in the comments. And now everybody, we also have this one here. The dude from The Big Lebowski, which I got over at My Pops, and I don't think I talked about this one at all, but I've been wanting some from The Big Lebowski for a bit now. And I know that the original line released Ooh, years ago now, like maybe even 10 years ago at this point, but I've just been wanting something from the Big Lebowski and I figured this one was a cool one to get. It's him doing yoga on top of his rug and I kind of want to take it out of the box to see what the rug is looking like a little bit closer up because this is just such a cool one. Yeah, take a look at that, everybody. It's really fun and then the rug, it's like perfectly done. Honestly, just such a great one to add to my movies collection and I only paid about 40 bucks for it for a con exclusive. I'll take it. Oh, shoot. I almost forgot, guys. I have more sodas in this bag here, as well as a bell that another person gifted to me for my Disney collection. It actually goes with my series, too. I'm missing Belle, well, not anymore, as well as Jesse. And I think when I do part two to trying to complete series two, I might still try to find another one so I can have a box and it really look nice with everything else. But for now, this is just like such a cool one to have in the collection. And if you gifted it to me, thanks again. But now, everybody, I also have have these down here and actually this Leonardo I believe came from the same person that gave me Belle. Oh and also somebody else gave me this carnage here which is sealed. We'll crack it open in a second but first I want to show you this one because there's something interesting going on with it. And now I know I can't see it like it is now but with this Leonardo here for some reason there is an error where the feet glow in the dark. And I know what you guys are thinking, how does that even happen? Well, I'm guessing it's because the chase is just a glow-in-the-dark version of this, so they maybe, like, accidentally put the feet onto it. It's pretty neat. And I'll even show you this. Down here, they've got the pog, but it is not that chase version, so it literally is just, like, an error with the character, and I love stuff like this. And now, everybody, it is time to get into this carnage, which I am super excited about, the Entertainment Earth exclusive. And if I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if I know what the chase is. It might be... Let's say it's metallic and we'll go with that because the back. Oh, no, no, no. He's got like extra bits all around him. Perhaps more carnage? I don't know. And, anyways, let's just get into this here and find out if it is the chase because I really am curious. It is not from the looks of it, but this is still an amazing soda. I mean, come on, everybody. Take a look at that. And now, getting into the last item that I picked up for the day, we have this here everybody the giant betty boo i am so excited that i picked this up and actually funny enough maybe you guys remember this if you've been watching the videos for a while but i've actually been to the retro festive booth in the past and when i saw them years ago i actually saw the betty boop on top of the shelf and i believe i even filmed it and showed it off just because it was such a weird piece to see at the time and i'm wondering what it was going for at that time i don't know if it was 40 bucks like i paid for it now but either way i am just so excited to have this in the collection and take a look at it compared to like all of the other stuff I've been checking out. It's massive. Also, I know that I kind of mentioned this earlier, but it actually released in 1999, the year after Funko was founded. And like, seriously, everybody, this is just such an amazing thing to have. It's the biggest wacky wobbler I've ever had in my collection. And I'm trying to think like, have I ever had anything bigger? I don't, I don't think so. Like just like those normal size ones usually. And so to get this for practically the exact same price as like a normal wacky wacky wobbler you would find today like 20 to 30 and sometimes 40 bucks depending on which one it is it really is amazing isn't that right betty boop 
I think so. Oh, and also, I wanted to mention that there was the black and white one there as well, and I don't know if I'm spoiling anything. No, they posted a photo on Instagram. Slapshot Pops actually ended up picking up the black and white version to go along with this one here. So we both have them. We're like Betty Boop buddies. And well, anyways, everybody, there we go. That was my Niagara Falls Comic Con. If you guys came to the booth and checked out anything that I had, or even just came to say hi, thank you so much, because this weekend seriously was a lot of fun. And if you guys couldn't make it, I hope you guys enjoyed the videos. But anyways, I hope you have a good day. I'll see you tomorrow.